Hi, uh, welcome back. Now we will add Android platform and iOS platform in our project. Before that, we have to open our code in any code editor. So preferred code editor is Visual Studio Code. So if you don't have already Visual Studio Code, then you can download it. Just Google it. Visual Studio Code here. And the best thing is you can get Visual Studio Code for Mac, Windows and Ubuntu and it's free of cost. So I have already installed Mac for Macbook. You can install for your operating system respectively. Now once you have installed, you can open that Visual Studio Code from your command line or terminal itself. So just go to your pro uh, project directory here. I am in hello. Now from here you have to write code space dot. So this will open your code in Visual Studio Code itself. So here this is your welcome page. So I'll just remove this. So few folders they have added already respected to the code editor. So you can ignore that. So mainly uh, we have hooks, platform, plugins, resource, www folder where our code is residing. Okay. So here first we will uh, check the config.xml what we were talking about in previous section. So what this content? So this config.xml contains your ID means your package ID basically in Android and the build version build in iOS application. So this will be unique worldwide in your play store. So you have to give something specific to your company domain name here yeah. company domain name dot your project name and the version of your project. So apart from that you can give your project name here hello Cordova is by default it's taking and the description of the projects and the about author author information email and about the project or any website link is there you can uh, follow along with it and here you can see uh, it's added android and ios by default so whenever you will add a new platform since we have not added any platform or we have not added any plugins so if we will add it will come at this place and again we have talked about package.json so here package.json if you will see so same thing it's copied from config.xml so everything in json file you can see it's created a json file and everything from the config.xml they copied from here it's just mirror of config.xml now in www folder we can see we have css file index.css image the logo icon and in java javascript we can see here index.js file and the index.xml file what we can get it here so this is the main index. Uh, HTML file what it will render in our web view in any native application. So apart from that we have plugin folder here so we don't have any plugin. So only one plugin by default they have added Cordova plugin whitelist. So this is by default they are taking otherwise we have not added any uh, plugin from our end. So once we will add any plugin it will come into this uh, folder. So come to platform, in platform we have not added any platform, so right now we will add a platform. So we have two options, you can open in command line interface or in Visual Studio Code you can see your view, view and then here you can see terminal or else in Macbook you can click control and then the this button okay so here the button icon is there you can click that or you can just open the terminal so here you can see the terminal it's already opened you can write code here or you can write code in your command in your command line interface so i'm just using embedded terminal here so it will be good we cannot we don't want to switch again from id to command line interface fine so now we will see ls so we can see our all the project folder is here already listed next we will add ok so since I am using macbook so I will just use sudo sudo cordova platform add android so it will add android or if you want to use ios you can use ios as well here just give space and the ios ok so 
I'll just add, I'll just give password and it will add here. So, so here you can see they have added. Okay, now you can check Cordova platform ls. So if you we'll add Cordova platform ls, then you can see here you have installed platform is Android 7.1.4 and iOS 4.5.5. So this is not the actual Android version. This is customized Cordova Android version. So don't confuse with it because current android version is android 9 but here you can see android 7.1.4 this is cordova android not the actual android operating system okay fine so these two you have already added now suppose if you want to remove this android platform also you can see in here in platform folder we have android and ios added here so this is the native code so we can open this in android studio or this ios code we can open in our X code okay so as of now we are not doing anything here so now we will check how to remove our platform if I don't want to use iOS then how we will use so we can use okay sudo for Windows user don't use sudo this is for Macbook and Ubuntu users only okay sudo Cordova platform rm or you can write remove ios or if you want to remove android as well just you can write android and ios okay fine so i'll just remove it okay so now you can see here in your platform folder there is nothing it's empty so we have removed now another thing is sometimes we have dependency to use the previous version or the another version of Cordova Android platform or iOS Cordova platform so how we will do that so initially we have used sudo Cordova platform add Android so if you write this command it will add the latest version of Cordova Android platform but if you want some specific version you can write here at android at the rate the version name right 6.2.3 suppose the latest version is 7.1.4 as we can see here but i want to use 6.2.3 so like that we can write here so if i write like this so it will add 6.2.3 Okay, uh, so 6.2.3 is already added. Now we will see here uh, Cordova platform ls. Now here we can see we have only one Android installed, Android version installed that is 6.2.3. So again, I will remove this version and we will add the latest version so always if you are creating a new application always prefer to use latest so also you can give android at the rate latest so it will fetch the latest version of Cordova android so i'll just Cordova platform add android so here you can say i am using sudo Cordova platform add android okay or same thing you can write at the rate latest or if you will not write also this will face the latest version of android so again i am adding here so in this section you have seen how to add any platform like android or ios how to remove the pl uh, platform and how to add any specific version of android or ios platform so in the next chapter we will see how to build the android application and how to run our application thanks for watching